Triple Invasion, Battle Los Angeles, Thoughts. My first point requires a short introduction. Here in Denmark, we don't have a real equivalent to the PG-13 rating and our R rating. I think the R rating is like 16 or maybe 17. Here in Denmark, our highest is 15. And the only thing, the only step down from that before you reach kiddie film territory is 11. 11 and 15. So, with this film being PG-13, they had to make a decision here in Denmark if they were going to, you know, say it's okay for 11 year olds or say you have to be 15. They said you have to be 15. I wasn't sure at first why. And now I find myself wondering why is a film with the on screen torturing to death of a seemingly intelligent life form a PG 13? There's also gore for the aliens. I'm not squeamish, but I do have to wonder why is this okay? Is it just because there's no blood? Is it just because they're not human? They appear to be about as intelligent as human beings, and yes, they're invading us, they're colonizing us. At the same time as the film seems to think it's okay for this, you know, maybe it is just, you know, war is the H word kind of thing, you know, we have to do this. I get why they were doing it. I'm not saying they were doing it for fun. I get they needed to find the weakness. And the weakness was, you know, in the middle of the chest. No, to the right of the heart, yes. The heart's to the left, so to the right of the heart is actually in the middle of the chest. I would actually have started just trying to shoot there. You know, I think the reason they weren't shooting in the face was there was some kind of armor. Anyway. Yeah, the film did have an actual line in there saying, you know, when you colonize someone, you, you know, kill the natives. I'm thinking that's a bit of a, you know, hint to the fact that we human beings have done this. You know, I'm not going to go get into finger pointing because, you know, the the countries that were able to colonize and got into it soon enough colonized. So, yeah. Anyway. The... The aliens on top of the building... Someone in the theater literally made fun of this right after it happened. Why was it dancing? What, what was with that? It, it also, it, it looked stiff, like it was maybe doing the robot or something, I don't know. Yeah, my, my friend suggested that maybe they were partying because they thought they'd already won, and hey, maybe, you know, maybe it was a victory dance or something, happy dance, I don't know. Is it just me or were the kids really just there to scream, cry, and evoke sympathy? They barely had any lines, only, you know, the friendly cop from Shooter's son had lines, and he's apparently also the most brave soldier Aaron Eckhart has ever met, even though he does nothing, you know. I get saying that about his father, totally, that, that was kind of badass, you know, oh, you are not doing that, grab a, you know, assault rifle and just take that sucker out, that, yeah, not bad. Am I the only one who felt like maybe the they weren't going to be able to make it out of the zone in time? You know, when they got bogged up on the freeway and there's no off-ramp suddenly, I was thinking they're never going to make it. I don't know, maybe I didn't get how close they apparently were to the outside, but... Anyway, I liked that this took the consequence. I like that there was, there was nothing, you know... Independence Day, ooh, they smash up some, you know, some icons. So, the, you know, the bases are still there. Here, no. 
they get to, you know, the freaking Air Force Base, they took it out. Of course they did, you know, they could probably detect that stuff from, you know, I don't know, before they get into our atmosphere or whatever. You know, it's it's a base. It's not that difficult to find. We're not exactly cloaking it, you know, we're not Nod. And, yeah, that... Of course they were gonna... You know, of course the people who survive are the ones who are mobile. Who are mobile. Yes. And yes, of course, it is sad Hollywood that, you know, the heroes make it out, but... I do think it also did an okay job of sometimes killing someone off surprisingly. That, uh, although, you know, everybody of course saw coming that, you know, that first alien, you know, in the water pool was going to jump up once the other, you know, military arrived. That, of course. So there at the end, they realize that not only is this command control a quick interjection, I like that it has something, you know, reaching up from the ground, you know, it has the, the, the radio mast, I guess, you know, it has to transmit those signals somehow. That made pretty good sense, I'd say. But anyway, they realized that it's a Terran structure, and, you know, lifts off, and then they realize that it's one of those pesky boss fights where you have to take out those, you know, little defensive thingamajigs before you can harm the thing itself. And of course, it's only a single missile it takes to actually take down this massive structure. Is it just me, or was the I remember your dead brother scene slightly homoerotic? I'm not saying that's a bad thing, I have nothing against homosexuality, I just, that was kind of the vibe I got from it, although I suppose that is something that sometimes happens in all male action films, nearly all male anyway. I was almost expecting a little lip action, I don't know. Someone needs to, you know, set that scene to some cheesy 70s porn tunes and see if it doesn't still kind of fit. So, yes, they do have the African member and a couple of Asians and such. So it's a reasonably racially diverse team. But is it just me or was it a tad xenophobic to only have the American military involved? There's nothing with, you know, you're going to get support from... You know, I mean, to bring back Independence Day, at least that did have that. You know, they're at least, you know, and of course that also has a bit of, you know, America being the center of the universe feel to it with the whole, ah, the Americans are doing something, let's go out and help them because we couldn't possibly take the initiative ourselves. Yes. So, the very last scene, I get that it's supposed to be this big, they are still ready for battle kind of thing. You know, they're not giving up, they don't need a rest, we already had breakfast. Meanwhile, I'm thinking, yes, please do send the battle-weary troops, probably recently traumatized, back into action, you know, rather than, I don't know, maybe they had already been debriefed, but I would personally send someone else. It didn't seem like they were that short on troops. Anyway, those were